So do you guys want to get kind of OP real early? Are you struggling with combat? Do you think the game's just a little too hard? Well today guys, I have you covered because literally within your first hour's gameplay, you can apply the methods I will showcase to you today and it will certainly help you out if you are struggling through those early stages. So as you progress Atomic Heart, you will unlock the energy powered electro weapon blueprint. It's rewarded to you real early on. And well, if you are an explorer, if you loot everything and you like to find and search everything, it won't be long after that you get this attachment for this weapon, which is truly OP early game. Pair this with another thing within your build and you are ready to go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So early gameplay combat can be a little stressful. Those robots are spongy and while well, there's a couple of things you can do which will make you powerful real early on. This requires a little to no real gameplay time and it's something I've discovered which will truly help those struggling. Firstly, as you play through the early stages of the game, you will come across a weapon called the Electro. It's a blueprint that you will craft on the spot with Nora. The weapon itself uses your energy so it doesn't rely on ammo that you have to craft. But there's an attachment guys which is unreal in regards to taking down those annoying pesky lab tech robots. Now the way in which blueprints I believe drop in this game are locked in a certain order. Meaning blueprint chests are possibly in multiple places but the game rewards you the exact same blueprints in the exact same order no matter which chest you open up. I say this because I've had two different chests reward me the same blueprint on different saves. I mean I could be wrong but I do think it may be the case. This means eventually guys, not long after you get that electro, you will come to a save room where you always know there's a chest inside of here which will reward you the EMP generator for that electro. I personally got this during a real early mission of in hot pursuit cross the seed bank which I got from an actual separate chest which I'll showcase to you guys in a second just in case they are tied to chests or locked within chests. But hey, once you have this, apply it with Nora and it unlocks the ability to totally fry those robots. It easily takes out multiple robots at the same time. And let me tell you, it makes easy work of them. Now, another thing I'd add real early on to your build is that mass telekinesis. This, in my opinion, at the moment is by far the best skill to use. I only have two extra perks selected here with it and it really is super efficient in taking out enemies. I love it. It makes things so much easier earlier on and this paired with the Electro really makes light work of enemies. Okay, so that chest which rewarded me the EMP generator Electro blueprint, you can see on screen now. It's from this point in that mission where you just come up the lift and simply then guys just follow the route I take. There were a few chests along the way, but at the end I was rewarded this blueprint. So good luck to you. Guys, on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.